time you get to the third chapter of this Bible, it will tell you man has got a problem. Amen. Amen. And the problem that man has is, is that the holy God that has made man, man being male and female, has had a separation from God, not because of anything God did, but because of something Satan did. Amen. So in order for God to correct the plan, Then in 2022, he, 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 he sent his son Jesus. For God so loved the world that he sent his only begotten son that whosoever believed in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. Now, being that we understand that, in order for us to understand that we need what God has and that he has presented it, but we got to make up our mind to go after it because if you don't never want to have it, if you don't never want to desire it, you won't never press to get it. Amen. Or you'll play with it, you'll run around with it, and you'll say you know some things and you got some things, but actually you can be associated with God for 30 years and still never know God. Amen. Still have never stood in the presence of his holiness. And never walk in the shadow of his righteousness. But you know of him because you heard of him. But you don't know how to dwell with him. Mm -hmm. yeah, let me explain, let me explain, let me explain. When you bring the baby home from the hospital, the baby is associated with the mother and father. And the mother and father nourishes the baby and they bring it home from the hospital. And it's their job to clean the baby up. And nourish the baby to keep the baby flowing and changed and bathed. But it's God's job to get an increase of that baby. Mm -hmm. I remember when she came home from the hospital. She won't like she would know. And I don't think none of y'all in here had nothing to do with her growth. I think it was God. Mm -hmm. I'm going somewhere. So the Bible says salvation has a baby. <coughs> Salvation has a baby, and when salvation produces this baby, the baby is named convert. And the process is being born again. The mother of the baby is the church. Mm -hmm. Because the church cleans, nurtures, bathes, and takes care of while God gives the increase. I'm going to prove every bit of that from Ephesians 4. But the deal is, you can't look at the physical baby like you look at the spiritual baby. Amen. Because it don't happen like that. Mm -hmm. So the Bible says that I give you the first the property evangelist, the pastor, the teacher for the perfecting of the saints. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the, for, the, for the building up of the saints. So that, that baby has to have the mother to nurture it, but the mother called the church is made up of so many nannies. <laughs> Each one bringing their special gift to help that baby be nurtured, to help that baby be taken care of, to help that baby be cleaned up. So Henry Clinton was right and do take a community in a village to raise a child. Amen. Because the people are going to back up everything I'm saying. Yeah. So, you say, what do you say? When salvation had a baby called a convert, it was the church's job to hold the milk to the baby, to the baby become mature, no more child being tossed to and fro on every wind and every dot. Let me back up and try again. That baby, when it is raised up by the mother, is raised up on the milk of truth. It's not made up on the milk of what we think. Oh, that's right. So the only way the baby can be set on a sure foundation is the baby has to drink the milk of the word of God yes. to even grow by. Amen. What do you think? Amen. Why don't you think? Now watch this. I'm going to shoot back to the Old Testament in a minute. 
Billy shoots back there to Hosea over there. And I'm going to tell you what Hosea says. Hosea says in Hosea 4 6, my people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. Because thou hast rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee. Mm -hmm. That thou shalt be no priest to me, seeing that thou hast forgotten the law of thy God. I will also forget thy children. Mm. You think you can get the children of the United States? Mm. All right. The reason why he said you would destroy a scroll for a lack of knowledge is when people read that thing, they'll take you a flower. You know, God said <laughs> you're destroyed for a lack of knowledge. Let me write and divide that. What God is saying in that passage. That the first and foremost thing you want to have knowledge about is God. Amen. And then what you want to have knowledge that you might not be destroyed by is looking at yourself. Mm -hmm. Ain't no use of me standing up here telling you that I'm a little preacher, teacher. And I'm going to tell you, Mary, how to lose lamb and Snoop Dogg dogs for a week. That ain't going to break nothing. No. That ain't going to help you do nothing. I can tell you, they said, God said, you take one step, he's going to take two. I'll be telling you a lie. Because yeah. he didn't say it. Yeah. That ain't going to say nothing for you. I can assume in my mind that I'm a big kind man of God. But stand before you without, without, without what he's written. And I'm nothing but an empty sounding stone. Amen. So the easiest thing for me to do as a little young adult, because you know the teenagers will do that, is they'll get together and they're going to shuffle in the bathroom and hang it out at the game. And they'll say, What did your uncle tell you about the little girls? And if your mom also said, If you run around the house five times, you can get any girl you want to. <laughs> but he said that too because his uncle told him that. It's happening the same way in the church. People being something that they ain't got no education to be when they just can never be they say. Amen. That's all you got to do is be who God made you to be because you can't take nothing from God because Psalms 127 more, you go read it all in the red. I'm going to tell you what it said. It said God filled the house. That's right. It said rain. Mm -hmm. So you're laboring for nothing if God ain't building it. And so now, therefore, what well, I need to stop and ask you, have you got understanding to know where do you make the appointment at to see God so he can build your house? Mm -hmm. Where do you make that appointment at? <laughs> where do you make that appointment at? <laughs> I mean, appointments you got. Because if you ain't seeing him in there, you ain't making no appointment. But you want me to tell you what feels you? The session free? I'm going to tell you something real good. I might go sit down and close out after this. <laughs> you want me to tell you something real good? The Bible told me that I was born in sin, mm -hmm. which means I was born in bondage. Mm -hmm. huh? Now I got to bridge that over the kitchen. With the wisdom of the son. Let me walk down my path. Because I'm finna go with that one. So he's saying, when you get to Philippians 2 5, he's saying the only way that man can contend with Satan is his wisdom because he was made in the full power of wisdom. The only way that any man or any woman can deal with Satan is they got to have Christ in mind. So then power goes on to say, the mind can be renewed and you can be transformed mm -hmm. and you can come away from that old person, but you got to do it in your mind. Amen. <laughs> If you don't discipline your mind according to that word of God, are you going to stand up and tell me what Grandma Sudi said? And you ain't got no word to go behind that, you will be forever? Immature. Unstable. Because you got no legal authority to stand behind what you tell me. 
when it comes down to giving with me, you better come right. Because I'm going to tell you what you see. And if I study it, I ain't got to go back to my paper. Because it belongs to me because I search for it. Amen. With all my heart. And being that I search for it with all my heart, I'm going to tell you while you still get got time. While you still get got time. Don't trust me on me. Pick up your Bible sometimes. Amen. Because the, the job of the believer is simply this. I'm going to get there. I'm going to get there now. The job of the believer is simply this. You won't chosen to just be Katie. God said, I chose you before the foundation of the world, Ephesians 1. Mm-hmm. God said, I chose you, I predestined you, you know, predestined me. God said, I before ordained for you to be Katie. When did you do that, God? Before the foundation of the world. Huh? He said, I foreordained every person that's a Christian. I have foreordained you. And the only way you can walk in what I have ordained you to do. I don't care if you ain't got five words that you know about me. Make sure they're true. Because if it's coming from here, it'll set people free. It'll set me free first. And then I can give it to you. And if it's coming from here, I can set you free. But if it's disagreeing, and I'm in the proof, if it's disagreeing with what that says, you can't bust a grip. So I'll be walking around here looking. Y'all be looking at me, it's easy. For y'all to see the spot on me, I got to look at every one of y'all to find the spot. <laughs> so what are you trying to say, preacher? Here's what I'm trying to say. If you were predestined for ordained, what were you predestined and ordained to do? Number one, you was ordained to have every blessing. Mm-hmm. Number two was you was ordained to have eyes of understanding. Amen. Number three was you was ordained to walk in the workmanship of Jesus. Huh? Number four is that you was ordained to have the precious promises. You was the key of the kingdom. To loosen the vine, to open doors no man can shut, shut doors no man can open. But there's one thing about God. When he sent Jesus to gather out the heel, it was a public showing. It won't nothing secret about what he did with Jesus. It was for all the world. Amen. 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 It's still wide open. In a lost and dying, sick, sick world, he still got his arms spread wide, saying, Whosoever we. Hallelujah. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. All of us mm. are in this thing together. Nothing but filthy rags with the blue. Mm-hmm. And in the ministry of the mother that takes care of the baby called the convert, all of us have to bring our gift to nurture that baby. Yeah. Bring that baby along. Because let me go there with you. Because what it says in there, it says, watch me. I'm gonna run past it. Ephesians 4 11. I'm gonna get it, buddy. This is what it says. It says, in any case, And uh, it's a boy, and we just bought it home. And you don't find a baby home and do it like that. Oh, God. <laughs> no. You take care of that baby. See, because you want that baby to be all the can. If you'll keep the bottle in his mouth, do you scratch it to make it grow? Okay. It ain't your job is it to make it grow. No. Whose job is it to make the baby grow? <laughs> <coughs> Whose job is it to make it if you hold the milk to it, and then when he grow out and eat milk, you put a little cereal. Oh, you mama sleep all on top of me. When you put a little cereal in that milk, he'll sleep all night long. He'll go to bed five and a half inches 
You are the poor, the perfected. You are the poor. You are not the carnal Christian waving in the wind. You might today and you might not today. You are not that old person. But let me tell you what happens when you don't bother to get what you need from God. When you are not called heartless toward God, you will take that man and you will leave by that much of yourself. You feel right there. You've been present and you got right there. And so Satan, who used to be, just hosted with you before you got saved. Because he can't do a new thing. He takes flight and leaves. So the blood of the cross is going to be. But he said, I'm lonely now. I don't want to get in that pool pit. I don't want to get on that desk. I don't want to get on this chair. Because they can't move. I need to get on something that can move. Let me go back and check my house out. From which I came. That's right. So he comes back. If the house don't look like that right there. He said, I got room. <laughs> Lord, the house. It's been swept and clean. That's right. But it ain't been filled Amen. to the perfection ah. of the new man. Yeah. So he'll say, I can move back in. There's nobody keeping me from occupying that space. I got a legal right to it. Yes. It was mine. He goes back out. Hey, boys, come here. We call seven of them more wicked than seven. Uh -huh. yeah. And you done worked to get all the way there. And you ain't got nothing but the top level of level. And Satan in here. Seven is going to move in that top level. And all of a sudden, you're going to go to feeling funny. <laughs> Your house going to go to crack. So Satan, when he moves back in, he don't want you to know he went to go. So he brings in counterfeit. Something called feeling in motion. I'll be preaching hard day I've been looking at Brother Tisha right there. Mm -hmm. And I said, there's something wrong there. Wrong? Well, oh, what are you talking about? <laughs> oh, I'm all right. I'll come by next Sunday. And I'll take another look at him. <laughs> Work it. You all right? I'm all right, Pastor. I'm all right. See, but the thing about Pastor, he ain't looking at you, Vicky. That's my heart. <laughs> He's looking at you from that light God gave him. Amen. See, because a pastor got to have revelatory knowledge. That means that revelatory knowledge is a light on the heel. It's the song that you add to it to make the savor right. <laughs> so the third Sunday I'll come right past and I'll look again. <laughs> yep, I see you. I see you. Guess who the last person is going to believe anything about themselves? Yeah. That person that I'm looking at. Mm -hmm. But see, I got to do with y'all. I got to do with y'all. You know why? Because the biggest coup that Satan is pulling is making people look at you, Kevin, mm -hmm. and never see that shit. That's right. right. That's right. right. Work it. Let, let me work it, you. Let me work it. Let me work. Let me show. Work. Work. Let me show. I'm mad as hell, Katie. And I can't forgive him. Let me tell you what that kid took. Took one of my white shoes and put it inside my black shoe. I ain't having that. And I ain't gonna forgive him. I don't care what you say. I ain't wanna hear it. I'm not gonna forgive him. <laughs>
Malam. So now you got a counter people going on on the inside. You got to use the view the spirit of God. Mm-hmm. And you got a big counter people with emotion. Mm-hmm. You can't work it. Mm-hmm. So you were being disposed uh-huh. because you don't have the knowledge you That's need right. That's right. to be a Christian. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Let me go to the Bible. Let me go to the Bible. This is what he said. Let me, let me tell you I want to go to I love each and every one of y'all. I've been pleased yesterday to do what I do. And in order for me to do what I can do, I got to stay on the truth. And I got to give you the truth. Amen. Anything other than the truth ain't no good to you. No. If, if I ain't giving you the truth, y'all need to get up and march me out the door. That's what you need to do. Right. But if I give you the truth, the Bible says the truth make me free. will set you free. Amen. You might take it away. Come on now. got set. Always preaching that stuff. <laughs> and that truth bring you down. Get in bed, sleep at 3 o'clock in the morning. And here's something coming like this. <laughs> What's that? That truth. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> that truth coming to tell you he right. Amen. You wrong. Yeah. That truth will convict you. Yes, it will. Yes, it will. Let me go right here. Let me go right here. Watch this right here. Watch this right here. You hear what he said? For the perfecting of the saints, for the work of the ministry, for the edifying of the body of Christ, till we all. Mm-hmm. Huh? Mm-hmm. Till we all. Oh. Huh? Oh. Yeah. Till we all. That means your mother Everybody. that's nurturing the conflict. All of us is supposed to be coming. Uh, all of us Everybody. is supposed to be in the process of coming Amen. to perfection. Right. Not just the pastor. That's right. Not just the elder. That's right. Not just the trustee. Everybody. Not just the teacher. Yeah. All of us.
Hell. Mm. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> you come in my door speaking in tongues, <laughs> and you bring me the report of the world, mm. <laughs> and you didn't bring me the report of what God says. Yeah. Yeah. So you giving the infirmity more power than you giving what God said? Amen. Sorry, no! You just gave the infirmity more power than you gave God! That's right. That's right. But I'm going to do it. No, you want me to tell you what you is when you're doing that? You're unstable and you're puffed up. That's right. Uh -huh. You ain't got what you think you got. No, sir. So if I ask you, how long you been know? And you say 50 years. You ought to have 50 years of something to say about me that's reality of who I am. <coughs> <laughs> they husband and wives stand with each other, don't even know who each other is. And so when somebody came in and tell you about your husband in the old hero, you say, oh, <laughs> you saw him way. You saw him going, what? You <laughs> 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 just wait till oh. he get home. Okay. Now they don't pee in some morning. And if they saw him, give it somebody a ride. Yes, That's if right. they didn't have it closed yeah, up. Right. Work it. What do you Work. know about him? And if he's yours, what do you know about him? And you know he's yours. Why can somebody so easy? Come on. Work it, work it, work it. Make you think something about your. Yeah, that's right. Are you that gullible? Now let me get this straight. Because I want you to come on a picture. One cop got one steering wheel. And that's on the passenger. That's on the the passenger has to get on that side. Mm -hmm. If you saw me coming down the street, driving a car, and I had 19 girls in my truck, hmm. if you saw me driving, <laughs> what else could I be doing? <laughs> what else? <laughs> I mean, tell me, what else could I be doing? I'm driving. <laughs> what was he doing? Driving. <laughs> <laughs> Had a girl. Oh, they gonna come back. No, they gonna come back and tell you anything. Oh, shit, okay? Yeah. They ain't gonna tell me. The what was they doing? <laughs> That's where women do. They see <laughs> things, but they don't say nothing to say to the woman. They just hurt it. Okay. Okay. Do you understand what I'm saying? If we don't know God no better than that, there's no way we can please God. <laughs> Over the years, you ought to hear something about me. Yeah, I might agree. But you ain't seen it. Ain't never one of y'all in here can say it. You have seen me do anything. You've been knowing me for 10 years. To be a truthful witness, that's all you can say about me. <laughs> mm -hmm. Now let's talk. Doubt it? Work it. Doubt it? Listen. Was he in your heart? God said, I'll hide my word in your heart. Yes. If he hides his word in your heart, then you got possession, just like you got the keys to your car. Amen. But if his word ain't in your heart, you don't have possession to it. You need the preacher. Amen. Huh? Yeah, right. And the preacher and you can move together as long as it's the truth. Yeah. If it ain't the truth, Kevin, we wasting our time. Amen. And what Satan wants to do is puff people up to make them think that they're better than what they did. Let me prove what I'm Lucifer was in heaven. Two angels come by this. Lucifer, when you show it's beautiful. Mm -hmm. You made in the full patterns of wisdom. <laughs> Lucifer looked at God and said, You hear that, God? I'll tell you what I want. Look after the mercy seat no more. I need to sit on it. Mm -hmm. God said, No. Because see, he has a certain design. God has a certain design. 
He said, no, you can't sit on it, Lucifer. <laughs> and you ought not to be approaching me like that because I created you Amen. for a specific purpose. Mm -hmm. I hope you catch that. Yeah. Uh -huh. I created you yeah. for a specific purpose. Yeah. What if God created you, predestined you, to put on all the arms and fight against Satan? Mm -hmm. Principality, rulers of God, mm -hmm. because of the evil day. What if God made you for that? Then what would be your assignment? <laughs> your assignment would be standing against Satan. Mm -hmm. Is that right? Yeah. So you would have to know how you're going to stand against Satan. That's right. yeah. So when you go in the book to find out how you're going to stand against Satan, number one, you got to understand that if you are, if you ain't supposed to be wrestling against flesh and blood, then you ought not to be looking the fuck out of this thing. Amen. Right. Amen. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Me and you ought to be free because we're working for the same thing. <laughs> but who we ought to be making? <laughs> Is that spirit of envy and jealousy? That spirit of disobedience? That spirit of unbelief? We ought to be warned against that because that's what's warned against us. Yes. Amen. To fight a person mm. when I can fight the devil himself. Why am I wasting my time with it? No. Huh? See, because if I why not the devil out? <coughs> why not him out? Mm -hmm. And he got the fear of yours. Help him over you. Ask Joe. Yeah. Huh? Ask Joe. But in return, Joe friend. Was at the mercy of Job. Yes, oh, yeah. Yeah. Amen. Amen. That's right. Huh? Uh-huh. Job spent 37 <laughs> chapters trying to tell his friends. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no. No. Mm -hmm. I know not. No. Mm -hmm. Curse him and die, Job. Mm -hmm. That's what he watching. Mm -hmm. God came to Job. Say, say, get up. Stand up on your feet like a man. Uh -huh. yeah. He said, no, I'm going to tell you this. I'm going to kill your friends. Mm -hmm. Because they've been bickering in my business. Mm -hmm. And I ain't told them nothing. Mm -hmm. Jesus. You know what? God's going to kill his friends. Why God going to kill his friends? <laughs> because they stuck their mouth in his business. Right. See, God has already predestined and ordained how he's going to pull this off. Mm -hmm. He ordained you before the foundation of the world. But quite frankly, I know it's in the world. Better have permission to be my son. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> my want to and your want to might not look alike. That's right. I, I have to have a want to according to my desire and my appetite. Mm -hmm. Whatever you want to do, that's on you. See, because my record ain't going to read your record. No. My record going to read my record. Right. If I feel the need to press in at 1.30 in the morning, that's what we're going to do. Mm -hmm. I don't know where you be at then. Mm -hmm. If I see the need to be here every time the door's open, that's what I got to do. Mm -hmm. Because I feel like that's the only way I can present my body. A living sacrifice. Mm -hmm. Holy and acceptable to the Lord. Whatever you do, you got to make up your mind. That's right. Whether it's going to be a go or no go with God. Yeah, but there are some principles in the Bible that if you don't make up your mind, you're going to obey. You ain't going to make it because you're going to be fighting against God. Amen. 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 When I go back to home day, hear the word of the Lord, you children of Israel, for the Lord has a time for her with the inhabitants of the land. Mm -hmm. Because there is no truth, no mercy, no knowledge of God in the land. Mm -hmm. By swerving and lying and killing and stealing and committing adultery, they break out and blood touches blood. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Therefore shall the land moan, and everyone that dwells therein shall languish with the beast of the field and with the fowls of heaven, yea, the fish of the sea. Also shall be taken away. 
Let, let no man scribe for reproof another. For thy people are as they that scribe with the priest. Therefore shalt thou fall in the day. And the prophets also shall fall with thee. Send the night, and I will destroy thy mother. My people are destroyed. Like you are not from not. Glory. Because thou hast rejected knowledge. He said, Thou hast rejected knowledge. I will also reject thee that thou shalt be no priest to me, seeing that thou hast forgotten the law of my God, of thy God. I will also forget thy children. Amen. As they were in priests, so they sinned against me. Therefore will I change their glory and their shame. See, for they shall eat and not have enough. They shall commit whoredom and shall not increase. Because they have left off to take heed to the Lord. Whoredom and wine and new wine take away the heart. Now let me go back to two. Because they have left off to take heed to the Lord. For they shall eat and not have enough. And they shall commit poor and they shall not increase. Let me explain that to you. When you start drinking that wine of that harlot with that American dream is, and you have accepted Christ, And the word, the word says, it is written, man shall not live for bread alone, but by every word that the seed is out of the mouth of God. <laughs> and you got to stop <coughs> putting it up on your coffee table when your Bible sits at. And it ain't been picked up in so long, you got to tell somebody to go clean the spot in the Bible. <laughs> My question would be, if it takes the word of God to nurture you, how is your baby called the comfort living? If you ain't sticking the bottle in the mouth, they're gonna get you for child abuse. They're gonna get you for child abuse because salvation done had a baby. You say, Yes, Lord. Salvation done produced a baby in the cradle of your heart. And you brought the baby home, took the similar likes, put it on the coffee table. And the baby said, Well, shut that baby up, get some water or shoe or something, let the shoe on. <laughs> <laughs> but a baby can't live like that. Nope. So you're responsible for raising the baby. Right. Amen. And you were neglecting the baby. So five years down the road, you were Christian, but you don't know nothing about God. Mm -hmm. oh, I'm going somewhere. I'm going somewhere. See, because hearing about God is not living and manifesting God. See, because a Christian is supposed to be the Bible. For the lost and dying world they live. You're going to bite and shake your head. <laughs> if you're going to bite and shake your head, <laughs> that ain't the God I know. <coughs> huh? That ain't the God I know. I can mark you. Come on. Because see, number one is you're too proud to be instructed. Mm -hmm. You won't let me teach you because you know. Mm -hmm. I know you don't know. Mm -hmm. You don't know you don't know. So therefore, you're being destroyed because you haven't looked at you because you've been too busy. That's right. When salvation first is first. Why you won't look at me come on? I'm gonna say, y'all, you got enough people born to build a house. <laughs> Why are you worried about my daughter? <laughs> okay, okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so here's anyway, where I'm going. I need you to understand that we are living in Revelation 17 and 18 and spiritual power has got everybody drinking the wine to where Christians are worried about the flag, Christ. And we don't live in the kingdom of Satan. That's his world. Amen. I don't worry about you. You know why? Because 
ain't finna sell my car because it'd be going up to $20 a gallon. If I got $20, I'm putting it in there. If I ain't got $20, then it'll sit over yonder. Tell it. But I ain't gonna worry about what it is because I don't live on that system. My God shall supply all my needs according to his riches and glory. That's what he said about me. He's a good God. 
got help. Mm -hmm. And you got the confidence mm -hmm. yes. that he's going to help. Amen. But when you know him just because <laughs> that he's God. Yes. When you stood in the presence uh, of his love yes. and his holiness, yes. some things I don't even have to open my oh, no. mind to yes. say because I know not of him. I know of him. Amen. I stand in the presence of his holiness because to know him, just to simply know him, mm -hmm. is to love him. Right. And when you know him, you will know what he'll do for you. Yes. You ain't got to die. That woman want me to bring it home from scripture. He said, when you know me, he said, if you will abide in me and my word abide in you, you can ask what you may. And I will do it for you. Yes. Amen. What the word abide means. That's right. Do y'all get the point? Huh? When I need to pray for my family, I ain't got if I got the right to call Jesus in the name, to call the Father in the name of Jesus, I don't need to call. I don't need to call 15 people. I can go in my own room. That's right. You know when I need to pray, need to pray. When it's impossible. Amen. When it's urgent and it, and it looks like mm -hmm. it's impossible. Mm -hmm. Then we need to join in cooperate mm -hmm. from heart to heart because two can put 10,000. Yes. Right? And one and only a thousand. So when we join in together, right now together, we cooperate. Mm -hmm. We have stopped the worship to live up, to pray. To thank God, we have stopped. Hallelujah. Because he said in his word, remember the Sabbath day. Mm -hmm. To keep it what? Holy. Oh, yeah. He said, remember? Yes. He said, remember in the garden? Yes. That's what he said? Yes. Wonder what he said on us to remember. So what? Can I tell y'all something? Y'all doing more for me today than a little bit. Because y'all want me to tell you what? When I'm preaching, I'm pouring out. You know, I'm getting empty. And I can look over there and see something hit your heart that God has given me for you to get. And you do that smile. And I say, that's all right, God. That gives me a crumb to run to the next seven. Yeah. And I can look over there and I can see that smile Amen. with that husband and wife team right there. And I look right there. And then I see that look that says, I got that. I got that. And I'm, I'm, I'm happy that I got that. I see God giving as I'm walking and talking and preaching and teaching. I see God giving with the congregation. And I'm getting excited. Amen. Because while I'm pouring out, he's pouring me yeah. to another level. Yes. Glory. Oh, Glory. We're in the season where he told us to watch and pray. Yes. We're in the season where he told us that don't get caught up with the cares of the world. That's right. We're in the season where now there are churches that are getting excited for signs and wonders uh -huh. and ain't getting excited for the truth being in the pulpit. And them lying signs and wonders is convincing people he's down there. He's over there. Yeah. He's down there. And people no. are running to and fro. That's ain't right. no steadfastness no. in the church. Ain't no steadfastness no. because ain't nobody planting their feet on the word of God because God is his word. Amen. Right. I'm going to the pool with nine friends. But if y'all want to look at me and what I was yesterday, you need to talk to God because I ain't the same person I was. Amen. I'm a new person. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. I'm a new person. Yes. Every time my family talk about me, it's who I was. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> now I'm a whole <laughs> Yeah, well, yeah, well, I'm just okay. Yeah. I ain't nothing worse than a whole one, but I'm not here no more. Yeah, right. Right. And I'm getting back. Everybody doing the full time. I'm so ready, my drunk. Tell you, me. Where you got to go? That's right. Me and her from Maine. That ain't got nowhere to see you. That's right. <laughs> 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 what a fool! 
You want to shoot me with some money? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you want me to you some money? Because I'm wacky. Mm-hmm. If I can do it before the Lord, mm-hmm. I can do it before anybody. Amen. That's right. Because my just ain't with me. Uh-huh. My just is with God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Right. 
Yo, what were you going to be stupid? What? I want you to meet my friends. No. Where you at? Where your friends? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm sure you know I got something to quote me right here. <laughs> it's like, what was that? It's all over the place. You can't even control it. <laughs> 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 tell it, tell it, tell it. <laughs> Y'all understand what I'm saying? Yeah. 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 I'm going to wear some shorts, but my name won't get it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to get I'm going to get shot. I'm going to get <laughs> oh, hustle, my friend. Oh, yeah. Oh, God, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for the permission, Lord. Thank you, Lord. To come and feed your lambs and your sheep. Yes, yes, yes. yes. I thank you for your word because your word is true. <laughs> Father, I ask Lord to send your ministry angel to every household. Yes, Lord. Lord. Lord, I ask that you touch everybody before they leave out of here. Yes, Lord. Lord, 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 the way we work. Yes. Father, let us continue to transform it yes. by renewing of our mind. Let us continue to have that hunger. Let us yes. continue to press yes. toward the mark of the house. Oh, yes. Let us seek you in search for you yes. with our whole heart so you will be our God yes. Yes. and we will be your people. Yes, Father, sir. we realize God we are living in the last days. Yes. Father, yes. the world is doing everything it can do. With perversion and evilness. Yes. Father, give us steadfastness. Yep. Give us irremovable. Yes, Lord. Give us grounds to stand on you. In the name yes. of Jesus. Because if you hold us, we are here. Yes. If you help us, we are here. Yes. And if you keep us, we are here. Yes, Lord. Keep us in our keeping, Lord. Yes. And give us that hunger to know you every day. Yes. Because yes. mercy are renewed. Yes. Lord, bless every household to bind the hand of poverty. That makes people think that they ain't got enough when you are more than Man, enough. You are yeah, over yeah. yes, yes. in our lives. You are conqueror <laughs> in our lives. Lord, let yes, us Lord. understand yes. that you who curse for us will see it us yes, through Lord. to the evil. Yes. Help us start the whole thing to the report of the Lord. Yes. And not let the flesh, the world, and Satan convince us otherwise. But this is your servant's prayer. Bless every household, Lord. Bless you. Yeah. Continue the line of the cross. Yeah. We thank you, Lord, for the blessing you, that you have contributed monetarily to this church yes. and to the people of this church. We thank yes, you for the thank needs you, Lord. that thank you Father. Continue to hold this teaching in order. Yes, continue Lord. to build this little army, Lord. Yes, in Lord. the name of Jesus.